Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping back in today. We are going to be talking about the most efficient ways to farm out Korthite crystals in Korthia. We will be discussing dailies, the Gromling, Mosshorn Cache, Nests, Rares, and the Rift. So, let's go ahead and jump in. So, obviously with every new day we're going to get a new set of dailies. The pattern so far seems that every other day you'll get a daily to go and kill an elite mob somewhere in Korthia. This daily awards two Korthite crystals. It's a pretty straightforward quest and takes about 5 minutes to complete. This should be something you're making sure to do every time it's available. Next on our list is the usage of the trained grommet carrier. This carrier summons a grommet that will travel along with you while you're in Corthia finding treasures you may not be able to see. If you have not yet purchased a grommet, you can purchase one from Archivist Rosier. While you're exploring Corthia, your gromling will start to glow and he will lead you to a glowing treasure on the ground. I have found that these treasures do have a high chance to contain the Korthite crystals. That being said, this is one of the easier parts of the day because all you have to do is remember to summon your grommet. Next up, just remember to keep your eyes peeled for the Mossworn Cache that do spawn around Korthia. These don't have a set pattern of how or why they spawn, but they do spawn and have a chance to drop the Korthite crystals as well. Next up will be the nests of unusual materials in Corthia. Blizzard did just put out a hotfix that makes these stick around much longer after the first person's looted them, so make sure to grab them when you see them because it's pretty easy to just pick them up as you're questing and doing what you need to do in, during your dailies in Corthia. This next one's pretty obvious, but if you haven't noticed yet, the rares in Corthia also drop the Corthite crystals, so if you're not taking the time to kill them all, Try to kill a few extra in the next few days, especially since we're going to be able to start crafting our legendaries here pretty soon. Next up on the list is the rift portals that you can use in order to enter the rift. You will need a rift key in order to do so, but in the rift you will find rift bound cash and you will be able to find a plethora of Corthia crystals inside of these as well. This is one of the most efficient ways to get them as I've probably gotten five out of every seven that I find in the rift. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this video did help you in any way, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Catch you next time. Peace.